Hey guys, so I am doing a favourites video, finally, I um, am really sorry that I missed, I don't know if I've missed one month or two, because I've been super busy, but um, I just thought I would do um, September favourites now that it is the 1st of October, and um, there is a few things that I have gotten that I want to share and stuff today. But um, first off, thank you for everyone who voted for Medley to be in this video on Instagram. Um, she looks so cute in her seahorse dress, doesn't she? Um, it is now spring here in New Zealand, and so that means that I get to put on cute um, summery clothing really soon, and I'm so excited about that. And I think um, that's why she prematurely is in this seahorse dress and um, my aunt made this for her earlier in the year and um, I made her the wee cardi to go with and then her auntie Amy brought her this or gave me this um, pacifier with a seahorse on it because seahorses are medley's themes or theme sorry I can talk today I promise so anyway, um, I'm going to get straight into it, and I'm just going to flip you to over here, if I can. There we go. Okay, so, um, like usual, it's just clothing that I've brought, favourite clothing for the month, favourite accessories, and what I have made as well. Um, I have not included the things that I've made for Wickham, as they are put aside, but I can tell you that um, Wickham has sold. So, yay. Um, I'm very excited for him to be going to see his mum when he is paid off. But, um, so I'm going to start with accessories first. Favourite accessories because they're the ones that are out of the picture right now. I would definitely have to say that this pacifier is still my favourite for um, Needley. And I haven't really been using pacifiers for... Um, India, but her strawberry one is my favourite, and it is just this one here. And I did use it the other week for a photo shoot, so I should have had that over here. Um, and for hair bows, I recently um, brought a pack from Pumpkin Patch, which is a baby store here in New Zealand in Australia as well. I don't know where else you can get it. I think you can get it in several other countries as well. But um I just bought this pack of simple um hair bows. They're so pretty. And um I think it was like they were, actually they weren't a pack, I think they were solo and it was like two dollars for both of them, so I was really excited about that. Because it was buy one get one free. Um, and then, of course, India's um, pink bow has still been a favourite, it always is, and um, I'm not too sure what happened with the door just then, but the wind is blowing everything around, so excuse the noises you may hear, and um, I've also been really enjoying using these sneakers on Charlie. Um, they are my favourite sneakers of hers, but she doesn't have like loads of clothes that match it um, because generally her clothes have patterns on them as well, so then pattern shoes on patterns don't really work. But I've really enjoyed using them a couple of times over the last couple of months. And then the other thing that I've really enjoyed, it's a favourite and I put it in the wrong spot, here it is. For India, I remember when I last made a favourites video, there was nothing really for India. And um, to end out the winter, I used her berry top that I absolutely adore. It says, I'm very sweet. And um, I've had this top for over a year now, and I really, really, really like it. So, um, yeah. She looked really, really cute in that. And another favourite, which isn't in this video because he's wearing it still, is Bailey's um, romper that um, he's wearing at the moment. It's got a giraffe on it, and it's in my last video with Bailey being changed. 
um, I won't be changing him anytime soon out of it, it's just so cute. So onto things that I have purchased over the last couple of months. Um, I bought this three pack of the Denners. So there's this one, and they've got polar fleece on the back. And then there's this one, and there's a purple one as well, but I can't remember for the life of me where I've put it. So, um, Charlie was wearing it, so um, I don't know where I put it when I took it off of her. But they've been really good. They fit Charlie better than anyone else. They're too big, really. Um, so I kind of have like an idea to make some of my own in the future. That'll be pretty cool. And then um, my best friend, uh, bless her, has picked up these onesies. Obviously this was a three pack um, at one point. I'll just move the camera so you guys can see. There we go. So um, this was a three pack for boys. And um, this is the only one that's left <laughs> on the um, hanger. And... Um, yeah, it's just got stars on it, and then there's one that has a star on it that's grey and blue, and then there's just a striped one, and um, they're wicked, so, um, yeah, he, I'm not too sure if I'm going to give this one to Wickham as well, or not, I'm, I'm still debating, because it's kind of like on its own, and it has, then she got this other one for girls, and it says special little princess on this one, and then it's just got this really nice polka dot one, and then this daisy one. So that's pretty cool. I've got a few um, small newborn baby girls in the nursery to make. So that's pretty cool to have them on hand. So that's those. And I'm really thankful that she brought them for the nursery. She's always really polite and thinking of the babies that way. Um, and then I brought this. I've been wanting it for like six months now. And it was finally on clearance. So... Um, I'm so excited about it. So it's just this like fake fur vest thing and it has a button that just undoes. I don't know, I'll undo it. Right here. And then underneath it has this really cute top that has umbrellas and beers and little boots and hearts and flowers on it. And then it's got these little knee pads on the pants. They've actually got little bits of um, fiber behind them so they puff up. It was really really cute and I bought it um, for India because um, I thought she would look really cute in it and she does so that was really nice and it was on clearance so very good find. And it's gonna fall. It's better there. Okay and then other things that I bought recently um, are these really cute harem pants for girls, um, they've got little flowers on them and I need to cut the string that's hanging off the edge. They've actually got pockets which I thought was really cute. And they're in zero to three, so they're actually quite big. But um, I brought them for India as well as for my new baby girl, who's the little soul sculpt. And um, it fits her as well, so I'm really excited about that. And then I have these plain denim jeans for the boys because they can always do with more and they're just elasticated and they're a 0 to 3 which Bailey fits and Leo fits and baby A fits as well because um, I have tried them in the past and then these are my favourite two purchases this came in a pack of three um, when I was buying for um, my upcoming twin order that I'm doing next month and um, I'm I got twin A as you all know so um, there was three of them and I was really excited that she got her very first item of clothing so it says I love you dearly on it <laughs> it's got these two vintage deers on it how cute is that guys I'm so in love I cannot wait for her body to arrive tomorrow so I can put her in it and see just how cute she looks and then I got this for Bailey because um, I've been envisioning it for ages and I said it in my last video that I saw this ages ago and wanted it so bad but it was a slightly different pattern 
they sold out of that and this one's actually zero to three months and he's newborn size but he fits it really well except for the straps and one of the buttons came off on the video so I still haven't sewed that back on but um, it's absolutely adorable and I got it on clearance finally I'm so happy and it just says silly sorts of games it's got vintage poo on it and then it says up here on the pocket classic poo and then at the back it's just like a typical romper. He looks so adorable in it and I just I just love it so much and I can tell that I'm going to be using it all summer swim along so that's cool and then onto some things that I've made or had made my mum made Midley this amazing sweater like I'm so in love with this I need to make her either a hat or like a head bow out of the remaining and there's heaps of it remaining too so maybe I'll make her some booties as well or get mum to but um how pretty is this like as you guys know I just put medley in literally any colour and it just makes me think of spring flowers and the pattern kind of got a little bit lost in the colour but I still really like it and then I really like the fact that the buttons are all different colours to match him with that so that was really cool and she looks super adorable in it and um, the only thing I can fault it for is that the sleeves are a little bit big on her but when you're as small as this you go with what you can get right it's so cute though and then um, I made Bailey this hat well the boys this hat um, to match anything that they wear that's blue I really like it and I need to make a lot more boy hats for the boys and then I've made this for one of the um, little girls that I made. It's the Christmas present girl. And um, I have to make the romper part for her as well. But I'm still trying to decide on a diaper sort of way if I'm going to crochet or make it out of fabric. Because the person I was going to buy some diapers from stopped making them. So, yeah. Um, so... This is really really cute and um, I made the collar myself onto the pattern. I can't remember what the name of the pattern is. I've done it before though. Um, it is by Mama that makes um, and I think hers is at Blogspot. I'll put the link in the description below but um, all her patterns are free and are made for preemie sized babies generally. So this is really cute and obviously you can tell it's a Christmas themed dress very very cute and then I recently learned how to do um, corner to corner posts well that window's strong and um, uh, crochet sorry squares corner to corner so you work from that corner to that corner and this was my first attempt and I obviously made Santa I'm not too sure I was meant to be making a Santa or a Christmas blanket but I'm not too sure if I'm going to or if I'm just going to turn this into a cushion and give to my friend who loves Christmas. I'm not too sure. But it was really fun to make. And I'm making another one for my mum at the moment, a Pikachu one. So <laughs> she'll be really excited when I finish that. And then I made this the other day for Halloween. It's the a, a witch's hat and there's other ones that I want to make too. But I'm not too sure again if I'm going to keep making them the same style because I actually learned another way of how to make them and they're a lot quicker so yeah and I'm working on a huge Christmas project so I can't really show that on camera it's for my brother and I'm just doing instead of going from corner to corner I'm just going and doing single crocheting going back forth so that will be really cool when I can show you guys it's going to be mammoth so yeah I think that's pretty much it for this month um, I should take this stuff off quickly. Thank you all for watching, and I'm really sorry that I got behind in this. Um, also, you might notice that now I have organized the channel a little bit, so everything has a playlist and should be in its playlist. There's only a few things that I haven't like categorized because they just didn't really fit into a category. But um, things like um, the monthly favorites can all be found in one. Um, playlist now so you guys can watch them if you haven't already and um, I'm starting a new series on the channel as well and Charlie's video is already up and I'm going to be doing them each day this 
for the next six days, so another five more days. Um, so check out that as well. I hope that you enjoy that. Um, and yeah, so being unwell has been not the best. I haven't been able to work. I still have a really sore head, so it's really like difficult to sit down and um, stick a bunch of holes in another baby's head. <laughs> Glad it's not mine, but um, yeah, I haven't really had the energy to work on Oscar, but I have made up for it by catching up on things that I haven't been doing. So it's kind of been good, but I still feel really stink that I'm behind schedule and hope to be back on track tomorrow. I'm praying anyway, and I'm not a prayer, so <laughs> that would be really good if I could. Um, but until then, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you're all having a great day. Bye!